Hello teacher, hello students. Welcome to today's lesson on environment. Students, in our previous lesson, we discussed energy and minerals. We learned that the energy sources are classified into traditional and modern sources. We have learned that Ethiopia has huge potential to generate electric power from different sources such as water, solar, and wind. We have also discussed mineral resources. We learned that there is huge accumulation of mineral resources in the country. However, the mining sector is underdeveloped due to capital-intensive nature of the sector and technological problems. Our today's lesson focuses on environment. Let's start the lesson with a simple question. Discuss the following exercise with the students sitting next to you. You have two minutes. The question is, what does the environment constitute? Students, have you discussed the question? I hope you have defined the environment. Now let's see what the environment constitutes. Environment constitutes all the external factors, such as physical, chemical and biological factors, climate and nutrients influencing the lives and activities of people, plants and animals. Students, now let's discuss some major environmental problems. Environmental problems are currently the main challenges to sustainable development in many countries. I want you to identify some environmental problems in your area. Do this exercise individually in two minutes.
Students, have you identified some environmental problems in your area? Identification of area-specific environmental problems is crucial. This helps us to take appropriate measures. Environmental problems such as global warming and climate change are all around the globe. Environmental degradation in Ethiopia constitute land erosion or loss of soil fertility, deforestation, air and water pollution, and the like. Deforestation is common in rural areas of Ethiopia. Air pollution and water pollution are common in urban areas. In recent years, the government has taken several measures to reduce the environmental problems of the country. Students, now let me introduce you to some measures that have been taken to curb environmental problems in Ethiopia. The measures taken to curb environmental degradation includes formulation and implementation of environmental policies and establishment of institutions. These specific measures taken include the Environmental Policy of Ethiopia, the establishment of the Environmental Protection Authority in Ethiopia, the establishment of the regional environmental agencies, the establishment of the regional environmental coordinating committees, and the establishment of environmental laboratories. Now, let's see each of these measures. We will begin with the environmental policy of Ethiopia. To alleviate the environmental problems, the government of Ethiopia formulated and has implemented environmental policy in line with the 1995 constitution. This policy has overall policy goals and specific policy objectives. The overall policy goal is to improve and enhance the health and quality of life of all Ethiopians and to promote sustainable social and economic development. Students, let's elaborate the components of the overall environmental policy goal. The policy goal is to improve the health and living conditions of all Ethiopians. The policy goal promotes equal access and use right of natural resource by all Ethiopians. The policy is concerned for both the conservation of environment and the livelihood needs of the people. It is not only about the protection of the environment. It encourages the use of man-made, cultural, natural, and environmental resources for indefinite period. Students, to sum up what we have been saying, the environmental policy of Ethiopia promotes sustainable development. I now want you to discuss the meaning of sustainable development in groups of two or three and jot down summary of your discussion. You have three minutes.
Students, I hope you've discussed sustainable development and jotted down the summary of your discussion. Now, together, let's see what sustainable development is. Sustainable development is a holistic approach concerned with achieving social, environmental, and economic development simultaneously. Environmental development implies maintaining stable resource base and avoiding overexploitation of environment and natural resources. Economic development means being able to produce goods and services on continued basis. Social development is achieving distributional equity, adequate provision of social services, including health and education, gender equity, and political accountability and participation. Sustainable development is the use of the natural resources to meet livelihood needs of human beings without destructing the environment. For example, while using fish resources as food, we shouldn't extract the fish beyond its growth or birth rate. On the other hand, the fish resource should not be conserved at the cost of the livelihood of the poor. Sustainable growth is neither about strict conservation of the environment nor overexploitation of environmental and natural resources. Students, now I will explain the second action taken by the government to elevate environmental damages. This particular measure is the establishment of the Environmental Protection Authority in Ethiopia, also known as EPA. EPA is an autonomous government agency that has the following responsibilities, among others. Some of the responsibilities of EPA are harmonizing environmental protection and economic activities so that both environmental and economic improvements become sustainable. Issuing guidelines that direct the preparation and evaluation of environmental impact assessment reports. Giving technical support pertaining to environmental management and protection to regional states and sectorial institutions. Students, the fourth institutional arrangement 
to address environmental problems in Ethiopia as the establishment of the regional environmental agencies. Regional states have established their own regional environmental agencies. Some of the responsibilities of the regional environmental agencies include coordinating the formulation, implementation, review and revision of regional conservation strategies, monitoring environmental protection and regulation, evaluating the environmental impact study reports on projects that are not likely to entail inter-regional impacts, auditing and regulating the implementation of projects that do not have inter-regional impacts. Students, the fifth action made to improve environmental quality in Ethiopia is the establishment of the Regional Environmental Coordinating Committee. This regional committee is responsible to oversee environmental protection in their respective regions and draft laws on overall environmental regulation, environmental impact assessment, and pollution control. Regional environmental agencies are also established to oversee environmental issues in their respective regions. Oromia and Amhara regional states and the Addis Ababa city administration have their own agencies. The last institutional setup established to deal with the environmental issues in Ethiopia are environmental laboratories. Addis Ababa city administration has established environmental laboratories and a research center. Before we wind up today's session, let me summarize the most important points from today's lesson. Watch carefully. The Ethiopian government has taken measures to solve environmental problems in Ethiopia. This includes establishing environmental protection agency, formulating environmental policies, establishing environmental libraries and others. The environmental policy of Ethiopia gives more emphasis to achieving sustainable development by giving attention for the needs of the people, as well as natural resources. Students, with this we come to the end of today's lesson. Next time, I'll come with a new topic, National Development Objectives and Strategies, Historical Review of the Monarchical Period. Until then, it is goodbye from me. Goodbye.